Hey there, how's it going? Today is day 149 since I was laid off. Um, I guess this is the end of these. I got the written offer for FedEx yesterday and I accepted it because it's the first thing to come along. And I've basically been defeated. When I started at FedEx, I was like, wow, this job's not for me. Um, I gotta find something else quick. 15 and a half years later, that's one five and a half years later, I finally found something. I loved that job. I loved that job so much. And then after about 13 months, I was laid off from it. Now here I am, the same situation as last time. First time I was unemployed for 13 weeks and then FedEx made an offer. This time it was about 21 and FedEx made an offer. So back I go. Um, I'll be making $5 less an hour than when I quit from there. And I'll be taking a demotion from when I quit there. And I'll be making $15 less an hour than the job I was laid off from. I won't have my 25, 26 days of vacation anymore because I'm a new hire. Yeah. Past two nights I've already dreamt about that place. So that's fun. Like, I get it's a job and I'm fortunate, but... Thought I'd, I thought I'd got out of there, and that I was no longer in some dead end thing. And I thought I was gonna learn new stuff and do different things and have a a funner job, a job that paid a whole lot better. Um. When I started at FedEx, almost 17 years ago, I was making about $7,000 less than they're going to pay me now. So that's less than $500 a year, about $500 a year, that they've increased the starting salary. Inflation's done more than that. The cost of insurance has been almost that increase. You know, it would increase probably a fifth to a tenth of that every year. So while I'm grateful to have a job, I'm not happy about where it's at or what I'll be doing. Like, I thought I'd knock the dust off my feet from that place. The last day when I went back to the office and turned everything in, I wasn't thinking, oh, this is so sad, and into a chapter in my life. I was like, try to stay calm. Don't be super excited that you're quitting. I don't know. I guess I keep looking. Um, hopefully it doesn't take 15 and a half years this time. I mean, it's it's an easy job. It's just, it's not for me. And I did it for 15 and a half years. I feel like I, I paid my dues in that role. In the role above it. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd have to go back there.
you know, the worst part is, <clears throat> when I first started, I was 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. And I eventually got today's Monday through Friday. Uh, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Now I'm going to be working 7 to 3.30, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. So not only is it a demotion, not only is it $5 less an hour, but I get to work Saturdays. The one day that my wife and I have to go do anything together because she works like 12, 14 hour days as a teacher during the week. And on Sundays we're at church for several hours. So that's cool. I swear throughout this 147 days, I've, I've basically just felt like Job. Um, I was laid off on my birthday while at birthday lunch on vacation with my wife. Within two weeks, both of our, well, both my uh, my mother and one of her family members were diagnosed with cancer. My mom was given less than three years to live with treatment and less than one without. And then this fourteen hundred dollar plumbing leak in the wall. My father's not my father. He doesn't want contact, even though he lives two hours away because I'll ruin things with his wife and kids. <clears throat> um, 30, 35 feet of this tree fell, almost hit the house, and a bike chainsaw. You know, it was just one thing after another. And now in the grand finale, I finally get a job, and despite being more than fast food and stuff, and, and I, I acknowledge that, it's a slap in the face because it's a demotion and less pay, a lot less pay than the job I was just laid off from, but even less pay than what I was making when I worked there, <clears throat> and, you know, and then uh, I got to work weekends. No, I expected the series ending. I thought it'd be like, yeah, I found a really cool job and it's gonna be so cool and blah, 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 blah. Nope. Instead, it feels like I'm a paroled felon that was, through some clerical error, sent back to prison when they did nothing wrong and now gets to sit there for an unknown period of time. That's that's honestly what it feels like. That's, that's the best way I can describe this feeling. Uh, anyway, I gotta go get my day going. Well, I won't see you guys tomorrow, but I will see you in my next video. So you can tell I'm starting to lose it. Thanks for watching this series.